Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to Iron Mind Blocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Linux upon your Windows-based operating system. So a lot of you guys have been asking about uh, Linux operating systems and I know a lot of you guys um, are not too comfortable with it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Ubuntu on your Windows desktop. So it makes it super easy uh, for you guys to get started with it. So the reason why you might want to install um, Ubuntu is because a lot of the, you know, for a lot of the mining guys, a lot of the wallets and things like that are first primarily sort of built and developed upon Linux and then the moves are later across um, to Windows. So this will help you get a head start when you want to use Linux, but you don't kind of want to break out of that Windows kind of environment. So on the screen, you can see I've got this window and inside this window is Ubuntu. So this is a complete operating system basically within this window itself. So, and this window is running on Windows. I'm using Windows 10, but you can get the idea. So inside of this kind of window, it's a full operating system, which is Ubuntu. It takes a little second for it to refresh, but inside here, we can open up a terminal. We can do all of our commands. We can do all sorts, exactly as if it was a dedicated machine, but this is called a virtual machine. So it's kind of a computer inside a computer. So this is really good if you want to use wallets, um, CPU miners and things like that. The only kind of part that's a little bit restricted is uh, using GPU miners. So you can't uh, access your full GPU performance and power via this virtual machine, but that's kind of the only restriction. In all other aspects, it works just like as if you are you know, in front of that computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this one down and I'll show you how to get started with this and run your own version on your Windows based desktop. So to get started, you wanna open up your web browser and you wanna download this VirtualBox. So the current version is version six and you can download it from virtualbox.org. So download that and install it. I'm not gonna take you through that process. Um, it's just like installing any other Windows program. I know it's a bit of a shortcut, but I wanna really, really want to focus on the installation of the um, operating system. The next thing you want to do is visit Ubuntu so it's ubuntu.com download forward slash, uh, sorry, forward slash download forward slash desktop. I'll put a link for everything that you need in the description. And then we're gonna be installing this Ubuntu 18.04.1 LTS. So you wanna click on the download and start downloading that. Yeah, it will take you to a second page and you wanna download, it's called an ISO file. So that's effectively um, a disk image file. So download that ISO file. Um, I think it's about 1.8 gigabytes. So start that now and then when we come to the next step you'll you'll basically be already uh, up and running and ready so after you have installed the VirtualBox program you can open it up and it will look a little something like this so you've got your virtual machines will be on the left hand side in your case you'll have num um, but what we're going to do is create a new virtual machine so that is the kind of the operating system within our current operating system so we want to go to new and we're gonna give it a name. So we'll call it Ubuntu uh, Demo. And it asks you for the type. So there's lots of different options that you can choose. You can even run kind of Windows within Windows. So for example, you can see on the left-hand side, you can even run like Windows 7 or Windows 8 within uh, Windows 10, for example, or vice versa. But anyway, we're gonna be installing Ubuntu. So we've choose uh, a name, the type, and Ubuntu, it's gonna be a 64-bit system. Uh, one other quick point is you can't run a 64-bit system if your current operating system Windows is only 32-bit. I don't think that would apply to anyone, but just to make you aware, um, you need a 64-bit um, processor to run another 64-bit system, okay? So then we wanna to go to next, and it's gonna ask us for our memory size. So I'm gonna give this um, four gigs of RAM. Choose a an amount that's appropriate to you. I'd say probably use between a quarter and a half of your total system RAM, something like that. And then go to next. So then we've got the option to choose a hard disk drive. So this is kind of like a virtual drive for the, the new operating system that you're installed in. So I'm gonna go to create a hard disk now, and then we'll go to um, create. A virtual box disk image this VDI choose that one and then go to next you can choose um, dynamically allocated or a fixed size so th the idea is with the dynamically allocated one it kind of gets it starts at um, a fixed amount but it will get bigger as required whereas the fixed size it will just stay as that one size and it's difficult to adjust it later so you can just choose a dynamic and then go to next 
And at this point, it asks you for the starting size of the, um, the dynamic drive. So 10 gigabytes is probably, probably fine for most people, I expect. You can also select a installation location for the virtual drive. So if you want your virtual drives on like a secondary hard drive or something like that, you can select the browser option and then choose, choose exactly where you want that virtual drive to live. So next we go to create. Once it's been created, on the left hand side you can see you've got this Ubuntu demo, which is the one that we've just created. So at the moment, it's kind of like, um, it's almost a bit like the hardware's being installed, but now we need to install the, the operating system. So now we're going to install Ubuntu onto this machine here. So we want to select it, and then we want to go to start. So it says select startup disk. So this is a bit like putting a disk in the CD-ROM. So with the drive, what we're going to do is select is this Ubuntu um, ISO. So it will be in your downloads folder. So it's going to be this file here. So that should have downloaded in the meantime. That's the one that we got from here, just to make you aware. So we select this Ubuntu ISO. So that's a bit like putting a disk in the drive and we go to open. And then we want to go to start. resize this, make it a little bit bigger. So now the virtual machine is starting up and it will start effectively booting from that virtual disk that we just put in, the ISO disk. Okay, so it might take a little while to show this page, but this is uh, effectively what you're looking for. So this is gonna start the installation process. So you want to install Ubuntu, so press that button. Let me change your language for your keyboard. So I choose UK and continue. Then we've got a few options, so normal installation, and I'm just gonna uncheck the download updates just to make the installation process a little bit quicker. For you guys, you probably want to download updates and you might also want to install third party um, software and applications. That'll be uh, things like uh, graphics drivers actually, uh, because we're in a virtual machine. Um, don't worry about the third party um, installation. Just just, um, just check that, that's fine. Uh, sorry, I, I almost thought I was on a, another machine then. So you're not gonna need graphics um, drivers and things like that. Just click uh, continue. So now we've got Arrays Disk and install Ubuntu. So you wanna choose this option. Um, you can also uh, use something else, uh, just to double check you're installing to the correct uh, drive, but it will install to the, uh, uh, your virtual drive, the, that 10 gigabyte virtual drive that we created. So you want it to install now. And you might get an option like this and it will just say like SCSI free and uh, some information regarding that drive. But it will be the correct one. It will be the um, the virtual drive that we created earlier, the 10 gigabyte one. So select that and we click continue. Choose our time zone. We just need to enter a few details about the computer. I will choose owner. and we'll put username and a password. And they've got the option to log in automatically or require a password. I'd say you probably use require password. That's kind of default for most people. And click continue. So now it's gonna go through the full installation process of installing Ubuntu. So this will probably take um, a little while, bearing in mind that you're only using kind of, by default you're only using a, a tiny fraction of your CPU power and also a low amount of memory. I'll show you how to adjust those settings in a later section. But we'll just leave that installing for the time being. 
Okay, so the installation has now just about completed. So we've got a pop-up and we just need to restart the computer. So that is the virtual box. So we just hit the button to restart now. You get a message to say, please remove the installation medium, press enter. You don't have to physically do anything to press enter. So now the virtual machine is going to reboot back up and it will go into Ubuntu. So now we have our main Ubuntu login screen. So we just select the username and we enter our password and we can sign in. So I'm just going to resize this box just a little bit. When you resize, um, if it goes black, um, don't worry too much. It's just the, the drivers are kind of like resizing to the correct amount. So when you first start, you'll get this um, kind of notification. Just click uh, next, uh, next, and don't send any system info, uh, next, and we are done. So your main um, Ubuntu desktop is going to look like this. So from here, you can open up Firefox, surf the browser, uh, surf the internet, sorry. Uh, email, you've also got all these um, other apps as well, depending on exactly what you chose to install. Some office programs, music players, all that kind of stuff. So from here, what I'm going to do is if you want to kind of shut down the virtual machine, you press on the power button, go to there, and then you go to power off, which is just exactly the same as it was if it was like a kind of like a real computer. So, and to start it up, you open up your virtual box. You select the virtual machine that you want and then you would go to start uh, one other thing as well just to show you if you go to settings you can change the attributes of the system so you can see we've got the base memory like I say it's set to four gigs but you can also change the press uh, processor so you can give it more or less CPU cores so if you want a, a better or more performance system you can give it more so this kind of it will take away a little bit from Windows and it will give more to the installation that you've installed so you can do other things um, as well, but that's pretty much the basics. So to start up, you just select it and you go to start. And it will start up the machine almost as exactly the same as if it was a real machine, except it's in a window. And again, we're at the login prompt. So we're back on that Ubuntu desktop again. So from here, a lot of you guys will probably want to use the terminal sets, control all and T. And then from here, you can enter your terminal commands, whatever you need to do. So I think that covers the basics for most people. There is also the option, you can also kind of like copy and paste text and stuff like that. And if you want to do more advanced stuff like drag and drop files into the um, this operating system, you want to install something called guest editions. I won't show you that in this video, but you want to install guest editions. That allows you to share files backwards and forwards between um, kind of your virtual desktop and your real desktop, things like that. Um, so that might be useful for some of you guys. Um, but I'll just leave that here for now. So let's shut that down. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, give it a like. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe. I'll put out content like this on a regular basis, help you guys get set up with your Windows, Linux, mining, and all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.